Freaky Deaky. Concert okay. series after party. Your dick, and it's I'm going down. After like it's party, looking, it's looking nice right Nigga, now. It's I'm a really, about, it's a really I'm good look. The party don't, didn't even start till one o'clock. Hold on, we got a little upgrade. Can so around? can we hit them with a one two one two? Let's see who I. Uh oh. Okay. Got a couple. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You did. See, so you hit them with a. Nigga, we can upgrade it so we can get you with you. You, <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? It's you, can that, see it's who all about that. you can see who in the building. It's Can't going you see down, who in the building? What's good with you? All the way. What's up? Look, yeah, it's turn. It's turn. It's okay. turn. Okay. I'm can telling we you. Hit back with the this one, is two? a spot. 410 oh, oh. Pressler. Hey. It's going 410 down. Pressler. Hmm. Make sure you get it right. Tell him. Make sure you get it right. 410 Pressler. Austin, Texas. What it do? I'm hot in the goddamn kite. I don't give a
don't ring. Fuck that ring. Penny play this motherfucking ass off every game. Uh, you can't take that from them, nigga. Uh, so if they don't get your credit, fuck you, nigga. I'm still great. Yeah. Pussy. Yeah. Run that shit. This my nigga trains, nigga. Assassin's 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 Jesus, I'm a nigga. Give it over. Jesus, Jesus, I'm a nigga. Give it over. I'm a nigga. 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 I'm
one, check two. Check it in. T Hustle at South by Southwest with my man Thriller. Trill Gladiators in the building. Shout out to Uncle Bun B, man. Happy birthday, Unc, man. We holding it down. Team Double Dose in the building. J. Ellis, shout out. Shout out to Rap a Lot. You know what I'm saying? The money team, everybody who in the building today, man. This how we doing it, man. Ask your bitch about it, man. I already asked your bitch, man. I'm still thriller, you know what I'm saying? Go cap the mixtape, spin Rella, that piff, you know what I'm talking about? Once again, shout out to the OG, Trill OG Bun B. Salute, baby. We out here side by and side winning. Double we dose work. is what it is. We working, baby. T Hustle TV.net, man. Shout out to the homie Low Key, man. You know how we do it, baby. For light radio. <laughs> Low key, man. True for life radio, man. I'm out here in Southwest by Southwest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got my boy, man. Scott King, baby. Drum squad is in the building. King's yeah. Council, you know what I mean? We out here, Brooklyn, New York. Huh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. man, came down from Brooklyn out here to Southwest by yeah, Southwest, man. I live in Atlanta. So okay. I live in Atlanta. I'm just from Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay, okay. Shit. Man, tell me about your experience in Southwest by Southwest. I mean, it was a good. I was here last year, so last year we had a couple shows out here with Drummer. So this year we had a show um, yesterday with Drummer. It okay. was Audio Push. Who else was on the showcase yesterday? Audio Push, Quentin Miller. It was a good look, you know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. we did our thing yesterday. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's all about networking, coming out here, uh, putting it together, just, you know what I mean? Getting some numbers and you know, all networking with the DJs, especially. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So, man, how long have you been working with DJ Drama? You know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit about oh, that. I mean, me and Drama, we met each other. Before the situation, I was messing with Devin Jim. A lot of people don't know that I was messing with Justin Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. And then after that situation, I just started met. I met with Drama one day at a club. Yeah. I told him what I was trying to do, and he was like, yeah, let's get up. We got up the next day and we just, we just got in the lab. I started doing records with him. We got a record with like Angie, Angie Stone, huh. Music Soul Child, Anthony Hamilton. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm working on this project right now called For What Is Worth, yeah. hosted by DJ um, Wu Kid and DJ Envy. Man. About to drop, so stay tuned, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. You out here working, man. Yeah, I salute grinding, you, man. man. Grinding. <laughs> hey, 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 man, what you got coming for the people, man? I mean, I got that big EP. It's called For What Is Worth. It's coming up. And then I got this other one. It's like a bunch of remixes. I got on all the hot records, hosted by DJ um, Greg Street. He about to drop this shit right there. So. Hey, that's what's so up, stay man. Stay with me, man. You know what I mean? Scott King, follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Real Scott King. Twitter, Real Scott King, man. It's going down. South by Southwest. You see it. Drum Squad. King's Council. All right. He would rap all the time, you know, 24 hours a day. And I didn't want to see my brother in the street. So I'm like, man, you rap. I'm going to support you in rapping. And, uh, you know, later on, there was a couple of other guys that were skipping school. And, you know, I made a deal with them. I said, if y'all go to school, I support y'all in rap as well. So I found myself just, you know, trying to keep my word. Because one day my grandmother called me. The guys that go to school come from school and land on her porch. <coughs> in practice. So one day I got a call saying, uh, James, uh, these guys been doing their work and doing life you asked them. She said, now you need to keep your word. So they like registered with me in a special way, you know, because I, you know, that means something to me, my word. So I find myself committing deeper and deeper. Now eventually this commitment goes from just supporting them to actually creating an outlet for them. Now, obviously, like I said, in, in 2016, there's a million and one ways to put out a rap song, but this isn't the case at that time. How far was it for you to even try to figure out how to, to help these guys as far as putting their music out and getting their music heard by people? Well, it was pretty difficult. You know, it was pretty difficult because at the time, rap music was monopolized by the East Coast. And, uh, when I say monopolized, I'm talking about in a lot of different uh, perspectives, you know, from radio, video, you name it, you know, they were just running against you know, 